Is it Solana summer? Is crypto gonna rebound? We're gonna find out what very important and successful people are talking about. Guys, thank you for joining me today. This is OG Crypto and NFTs. My name is Troy, and we try to come to you three or four times a week about the latest news in crypto and in NFTs. Very first article here is from Coinbase. It says Magic Eden tops OpenSea and daily trading volume as Solana NFTs heat up. And this has been kind of a hot topic that's been happening ever since Coinbase uh, as or OpenSea have now put Solana based NFTs on their platform. Now all of a sudden Solana has become hot. And those NFTs now on SoulSea and now especially Magic Eden, their marketplaces for Solana and, and pretty much Solana only NFTs have really heated up. So remarkably today, you know, Magic Eden topped OpenSea, which is kind of crazy to think about as OpenSea has grown just tremendously in their, in their daily users and their volume. If we go back to October of 2021, there was about a million users on OpenSea. Today, in March, actually, they reported 30 million. It went up 30 times, and we haven't even touched, you know, more than two or 3% of the entire population in the world. So we're seeing the growth here, and we're seeing other marketplaces outside of OpenSea actually are taking leads here. Next article here is Mark Cuban says crypto is going through a lull that the early internet saw and these are very, this is very interesting as he, he made himself a billionaire in that whole market, that internet market. You know, it's very interesting that he now sees the same thing in crypto. As a lot of us have said, especially when we've seen, you know, the market, the bear market that came to us now for about four, five, even six months, you know, you got to hang in there and you got to, you got to tough it out. I know in the past, you know, crypto was something where quick and easy money can be made if you, if you hit the right moments. But today, more and more investors are saying, okay, this is a long haul. We're not looking at it as a quick buck. We're looking at it as like our 401k. If I put the money in, it's going to take years, but it can double, triple, 10 times, 100 times. But I cannot look at it as I'm going to make, you know, a, you know, 10 times my money in two minutes. It's just those days I think are behind us at this point, unless you hit the market perfectly. But big celebrities uh, and entrepreneurs, billionaire entrepreneurs like Mark Cuban are saying, hey, it's just a lull, just like the internet went through. Next article here is how NFTs are making real estate investments more obtainable. And this is a very interesting article because as the real estate market continues to go up and up in value, we're starting to see that market for NFT virtual land or NFT land really start to take off. You know, you know, Decentraland and Sandbox are pretty popular, even though Decentraland doesn't have all the sparkly, you know, uh, things that Sandbox has, but NFT worlds and then what, what Yuga Labs and the Board Ape Yacht Club did was put out the other side land that has really taken off. We're starting to see the popularity grow. And some of these land you could obtain for ten thousand fifteen twenty thousand dollars right now even even more so think about it you know land in a virtual world if you really think about it, it's worthless right but as people build on top of it it's and they talk about where people are going to live in the future or have a alter life in the future that's something that you want to look into is these type of lands on on in virtual real estate Next is Ripple's, this is from Crypto.News, Ripple's ODL solution adopted by Lithuania's FINCI for cost-efficient cross-border payments. We're seeing Ripple and RippleNet grow and grow and grow here. You know, just two days ago, they, a Lithuanian financial institution came up and they, they inked a deal with Ripple saying that all the monies would be for cross-border payment would be going through the Ripple network as well as a using XRP as the currency to, to go cross border payments. So we're seeing the growth of Ripple. I know that there's a lot of influencers out there that like it and a lot that don't like it. And you're hearing both sides of it. But what we're doing is simply seeing Ripple grow, 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 even though they're being, they're in a huge lawsuit with the SEC. The next article here is Spotify. And Spotify has been in the news lately with at the Bitcoin conference, Jack Muller's mentioned them. But here, this on BlockWorks, it says Spotify trials, NFTs, and Madonna's first NFT collection. As we see it, 
you know, there's been some kind of resistance in, in somewhat of the music industry and especially the gaming industry that, you know, the markets have been around for so long that anything new becomes more of a, a resistance point. But now Spotify says, hey, let's go put the NFTs out. What music is starting to really take off here. And now if we can actually have more people identify with the NFTs with, you know, you know, CD drops or their music drops or, you know, even Madonna's and her first collection, which is which, as I saw a few of them, is very risque and very interesting. Uh, if we, if some people call it spicy, very interesting. But we're, so, we're seeing this happen. These trials from Spotify are just the beginning. I think they're going to actually adopt it and they're going to actually use it with other music, you know, with their music side of their business. And the last article here is about what's going to happen tomorrow. So tomorrow you have bears and bulls. You have people that have looked at the futures of Bitcoin and they expire tomorrow. So you have quite a lot of people that have banked on, you know, the bulls, you know, really not being involved. Since last week, we took a very big dip in the market. And this week, a lot of people put for their futures that we're going to be, a, there's going to be a run up this week. And then on Friday, they're going to go typically over $32,000 Bitcoin to exceed $32,000 and their futures and make just quite a lot of money. But the Bears are looking at it in a different form. They're thinking it's going down to 29,000 or even less. So tomorrow there's this, there's a, a pull and tug. What's going to happen? Who's going to cash out and who's not? Is it going to go over 32 or under 29? Very interesting. Bitcoin currently is right around 30,300. So overnight it's going to be big, big deal. That's going to happen. And we are going to see it play out in front of us tomorrow. Well, thank you for joining us. If you like our content, hit the like button. Otherwise, please hit that subscribe button. More subscribers, I'll put out more videos, more content on local crypto news uh, throughout, the United, throughout the world itself. If you wanna get uh, a notification button, it notifies us when we drop this video. Otherwise, guys, have a fantastic day.